Welcome back to the Natty Daddy Experience. You rocking with your boy Natty Rob on his job. And today we got a special guest with us. This guy has been uh, a trending topic for the last four or five months. No love. How you doing, man? Popping, man. I'm well, man. I'm blessed. You hear me? Man. Hey, so how does it feel, uh, all this fame that you getting, good or bad? How it feel? I'm going to be real, man. Like, uh, I, I say this probably like the seventh, eighth year that I didn't actually been feeling the effect of fame. Just people see you and know who you is and get excited. You know what I'm saying? And um, it feel good, man. It feel like an extended family when folks know your story and know who you is. And, you know, it, it feel good, bro. For sure, for sure. Now, I see you just dropped that um that freestyle to the yeah glow. I can't lie. You killed that, man. I went crazy, man. I got to go the yeah ho out now. For sure, for sure. Hey, now I just want to jump straight into it and uh, address the elephant in the room, man. Uh, NBA young boy got locked up recently, and you know how the internet is. They got the trolling, saying that, you know, finesse, every time he got an issue with somebody, they end up in jail. And you went to IG, and you started trolling young boy. Uh, and, you know, you're getting, like, some backlash from his fans. So do you even pay attention to the comments? Nah, nah, bro. You know, this broke me in years ago. Like, you know, I understand that everybody got their own opinion. They're going to say what they're going to say. You know what I'm saying? They might come in a thousand times like the wrong. But um, I accept the internet for what it is. And, you know, they got the right to come in. That's why it's a comment section. You know what I'm saying? I block as many as because as I can because motherfuckers don't be knowing the whole story. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, with, with people saying that, you know, it might be my brother's fault that he in jail. Like, let's look at the facts to it. Like, you got all this going on before you even start beefing with my brother. Like, you got out your body and threatened this man's life and his mama's life. Like, globally. Like, in front of the world. So, that was immature of, of, of you as to be it being who you are. Letting somebody get under your skin and making you react like that. Because it ain't about what we go through, man. It's about what we, what, what we react to. You know what I'm saying? So, so uh, everybody, you know, they fans of young boy. He got major fan base. So, they going to take his side and ride with him whether he right or wrong. But people know he wrong for saying what he'll do to, to our mama and, you know, the type of energy he put out in the universe. Man, it seems like even though you got issues with your brother... And you be trolling him on the internet, you still don't play about him. Cause if anybody else troll him, you coming and you at their neck. So it's still some love there. Yeah, for a fake, for a fake, bro. At the end of the day, bro, that's my brother. Like, you know, I can feel how I want to feel about it. Say what I want to say, do what I want to. You know what I'm saying? But it, it just, you know, when when the outside world try to kick in, bro, and try to, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I still can't imagine that nothing happening to him. You know what I'm saying? I might tell your ass and half on the internet, but at the end of the day, when it comes to outside, it ain't going like this. But I still feel how I feel personally, but it's between us. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. And that's your older brother by three years, right? Yeah, three years, yeah. For sure. Now, I got an older brother. He three years older than me. And uh, I know growing up, we used to fight all the time, like fist fight. And uh, was y'all relationship like that? Y'all did a lot of fighting coming up? Ah, oh, bro, I never laid hands on my brother. Never fought him. Like, we probably got mad and, you know what I'm saying, nigga pulled their pants up and, what's up then, nigga? Like, but it never, we never fought, bro. And, and, you know, most of the people that's coming, it be a, by me being a little brother, it's a lot of niggas that's a big brother. They got problems with their little brother. So, they automatically gonna feel the way to with me because I'm the little brother. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So, you know. So, is, is this the longest y'all ever went without speaking to each other? No, uh, you know, when he was doing time, he couldn't call like that a lot. Um, when he was out and, you know, we was in and out of mama's house and going from place to place, we still weren't always in the house together. We was always on two different journeys, different friends and everything. We were just blood brothers. Got you. Got Y'all got the same mom, same dad? Just the same mama. Man, y'all look like twins, man. It's crazy. Ain't no way. 
my mama Jane Alpha. For sure, for sure. Uh, when y'all, I know y'all gonna get it back together eventually, and when y'all do, y'all should do a collab tape, cause that'll be big, man. Yeah, 